Hello and welcome, I am Maruba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Japan campaign in Europe Universe House 4. It's... Yeah, we're blobbing a little bit, we're losing money because we're reinforcing and we got mercs and blah blah blah. There's reasons, there's reasons that things are happening. Um... Japanese Australia is paying us 0.88 ducats. They are almost going to give us another merchant, which will help quite a bit for global trade power. Um, when this colony finishes, I believe they will be at mm, 10 provinces. Eight? Nope. Japanese Australia is at 8 cities right now. 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so when they finish theirs and I finish mine, we'll get a merchant, which is good. We will continue to core our land. There are disloyal estates, but not for long. Which means that maintenance will come down, which means that finances will improve. They have a lot of influence because I keep on stealing all our points. We owe a staggering 834 ducats. Hey, Oirat, are you ready to be happy? You're about to get back a fair bit of land. From Karadel, and then from Yarkand. Who is allied with Bengal and Jumper? Bengal? Bit of a concern, possibly. By the way, my navy, you need to uh, split. Quick trade in Nippon, quick trade in Girin. And actually, I should pay attention. How much did we make last month? Last month's trade income was twelve ninety-seven. Yeah, that's slightly better. Okay. Good, good. I mean, really, why wouldn't we just declare the war immediately? Oh, he's gonna bring Yarkand in for us perfectly as a separate piece. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, naturally, our vassal is disloyal, so he's he's not gonna help us in his own reconquest war, which is kind of funny, actually. He's gonna be like, I no! I didn't wanna do it. <laughs> it's stupid land and I don't need it. <laughs> but I'm gonna give I'm gonna force feed him. I'm gonna make him take it. Dirty stupid little bastard. We're facing uh no, almost no troops. Uh we will detach a single infantry to go take that mountain. We will wait until a few more troops arrive, and then we will deploy it looks like four infantry. Do we have enough cav? We are so low on cav. Oh my god. Anyway, we need six infantry then. Preferably all mercs. So let's go... Down to six infantry. With the leader up to there. Course, then he applies. There's another troop that gets re recruited, which messes up all my numbers. Let's head this way with, I don't know, some somebody. That is his capital. We've got what we need here for a full siege. Although the Cav should move forward. The level 1 fort, so... Let's move everyone up to there. Actually, no, just the infantry go there. Yarkand is a fair bit of land. We'll just be cautious. Yarkand has a... Looks like probably about a 
five, ten stack, somewhere around there. Ooh, they have 6,000 artillery, never mind, it'll be like a 13, 14 stack. It'd be cool is if, like, you could just hover over this and it would tell you the total number of troops. Instead of having to go to the ledger. How, how convenient would that be? I'll, I'll answer the question for you. It would be very convenient. For some reason, even though we entered from here and there's a fort here, we're allowed to just ignore it. Because of reasons. Are you caught up in another war or something? No? Where, where the hell is your army? I'm confused by what you're doing. Wow. That was actually very fast. And that's it, as far as what the Oirat expects. And then these two. We're going to need to spend some time focusing on the New World soon. So far, I think that we we pretty much just continue to... Uh, just take back cores, nothing else. I don't really want to pay any points. Then again, it's just Diplo points, so maybe we do feed them a little bit extra. Like, we could probably feed them all of Cardell. It's only a little bit. Yeah. Let's make Cardell cease to exist. And how do you not have claims on, like, Shun or something? Well, if you're just gonna offer up a portion of your army, I'm gonna take it. I gotta say, that seems kind of silly. See, now... Now we're restricted. What... Who understands this game? And I was right, Yarkan does have like a 15 stack. We're the defender, but it's the desert. There's no way out. Yarkan on tech 12 versus our tech 12. No reinforcement possible. Could be bad. We do have 120% discipline. Fighting against a 2-3 with a 2-1. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like the way that that looks at all. I'm- I'm- I don't want to watch. I mean, we, we will fight until our dying breath. Or rather, until our, brunt, our front line breaks. No! Stupid Bruneians. Alright, now is the time to retreat. Well, you're gonna die then. That's unfortunate. But you're gonna die. You get stack wiped because of the size. Pesky Brunians? Thought we just dealt with a Brunian rebellion. Was it somebody else? Inquisitor has died. Let's go with National Unrest guy. We'll get a little, a little bit slower conversion now. But he's cheaper. And... Everything goes to the Oirat. We need that province as well. Well, this is embarrassing. Our infantry are going to die. Oh, 
Hopefully they're all mercs. No, <laughs> they're not. Not a single merc among them. Okay, Caradel, Super Peace. Eighty-four war score. So it's gonna require us beating the snot out of that Yarkand army. He's not actually pursuing the army anymore. Would you please give me military access? He will. Wonderful. Now I can run away. We have 18,000 manpower, positive income, only four units of cannon, but only two of them are over here. So let's build two more cannons, two more cav, and then just a bunch of infantry. Not that many. Let's try to build up to our force limit. We gotta go take care of this rebellion. This army can just cease to participate. This army itself can take care of that pretty easily. Two colonies about to complete. Korean separatists are already starting to get pissed off. Of course, our vassal is weak. Trade efficiency penalty sucks, but it is what it is. And that means that the merchant guilds are now disloyal. Oh well. Not much we can really do about it. It is a level 2 fort. We'll siege with the bare minimum. Cannons are probably not done yet. We want to go pick up those infantry if they actually have made it around yet. No, they're going to be a while. Well, this this army that I've trained should be sufficient, I think, to take care of the Bernian Rebellion. Once we get the cannons done. We have an impending disaster. Aristocratic coup at 2% per month. Something worth paying attention to. Nothing to get too concerned about, but something to pay attention to. And we have a colony. Excellent. How's their colony? Almost done. Okay. Keep on working on California. Only losing three ducats a month, most of which is could be accounted for just based on the we're giving three ducats a month to our colonial nation, which very, very soon I'm not gonna do that anymore. I don't think they'll even cancel their colony. In fact, if we check, let's just check like uh the, the ledger. These are called You Japanese Australia, right. So let's just see Japanese Australia. You make seven ducats a month. You probably don't need my subsidies, do you? Keep your colony going. It's not like he's going to cancel it. <laughs> Continuing to beat up on Oirat, who refuses to participate. Colors are so weird. It's like backwards. 
because of the color of each of these two countries. Alright, so they're at 88%. Granted generalship, 93, 95, 90, 90, 93. Looks like we'll be fine. No loot to be had here. Ah, shoot. I was hoping to have had a chance to appoint a leader for this, but defending as we are, we should be okay. Yeah, we'll just put them on auto suppress. They'll take care of putting down the rest of that army. They'll unsiege all this land for me and. Well, no, let's not do that because they're, they're stupid. They'll do it slowly, they'll do it one province at a time. Which is silly, right? Korean separatists. Who would have thought that they don't like being part of our country? Bunch of jerks. Where, where, which one's the states map mode? Is there not one that's... States. States and territories. There is a specific states and territories map mode. Okay, so darker green is, it is an estate. It is a state of our nation. I should bind this one. States and territories. How is states and territories different than areas? Here, let's just see what happens if we go to states and territories map mode. Okay, I can't see... No, it does serve a purpose. Diplomatic... I guess I'm just gonna have a third one that we cycle through. Because they're all related, right? So W, political map mode, areas, states. I just, they're all, I'm all, like, when I press that button, it's the same thought that's going through my head, so I want the button to be the same. This is a level one fort, so we can ignore the rest of these provinces and march past it. And we're defending in the mountains while we siege down his capital. So that's a good position to be in. We took care of the rebellion. We've got the Korean Separatists that are about to fire, so we got to deal with that, but for the most part... I'd say we're looking pretty good. Chinook. It's just a random Ming province, middle of nowhere. 152 points to harsh treatment. I don't think we want to do that. But we are going to need all these guys to come back up and be on end of internal conflicts. So it looks like the Commonwealth is stabilized. They are the Commonwealth proper, not not the uh, the other thing. Poland. It's possible to move with help from tra transports. That's what I'm trying to do. And yeah, the boats are mid-blocked, and so I can't tell them to do it. There we go. 21% chance to take your capital. If that happens, it's still not going to be enough. We're going to need to exterminate his army. 
and take every single fort that he owns to have any chance at, at winning this war as healthily as I want to. Wu is now picking on Ming. Worst case scenario, we leave that little chunk of Ming there for us. We can always recreate Ming. Well, Ming's never going to stop existing. So. The Koreans are going to be a problem. 33 stack is pretty sizable. At least they have no leader. I don't think I have that many troops available. I'm feeling a little spread thin. If we didn't take land that's not part of the peace deal, we could end this war now and just go deal with the rebellion. 72... Fifty-three. Yeah, we could just end it right now. And then we use these troops to go help take care of... the rebellion. Sounds good to me. Making positive income. Oirak got a little bit bigger. They still have cores on Bukhara, who we want to attack. Who's allied with... people. We'll figure it out. There goes all of our money again. We do need the prestige. Prestige is good. Prestige is always good to have. Useful in many ways. We should be spying on the people. On the knights. Always. I don't- I just don't like these mechanics where it's like, Oh, you've been caught! You've been sent home! You gotta remember to do it again in three months. How about, just give me an opinion penalty and then leave the damn merchant there. Like, how about for three months he just doesn't do his job, or I, I take a hit, or something. But like, stop making me send and resend this stupid merchant. It's just annoying. Hey, cool. We should have rivaled him right before declaring war, because they're probably going to make him invalid soon. You guys ever planning on coming back up here? God, you are doing, like, the stupidest method of travel. It's like every single island, they're like, yeah, we should totally, uh, mm-hmm, yep, let's, uh, let's island hop. Just ridiculous. Let's intentionally march through Black Flag territory. Shoot, Korchin is going to make us... Let's just go to here. And we'll deal with this rebellion in the next episode. So, alright, cool. Thank you for watching. I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. See you in a bit.